Hi everyone, welcome to my latest uh, video review. I showed you Shin the Shinkane pink um, figure. This is on Shinkane yellow. So, same format. I'm going to show you the accessories that it came with. But certain things, since I already covered in the other review, I won't end this. Because uh, things like the skirt change, you already saw that in the pink review. So, the only reason is, I just... I don't know what it is. I know the figure is meant to be pulled apart to change the skirt, but it just like irks me to do that because <clears throat> like I said, it does cost a lot. But without any further talk, let's just get into the review here. She comes with the same uh, she can't just sword as seen in pink. Again, nicely detailed. Another thing I forgot to show you in the pink review is this, this disc right here can actually come out. You just like um, force it out. Here we have it. It's also ni a bit nicely detailed. I don't know if the camera will be nice to me. Let's see. Come on. Nice. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, there's like white lines going around. And to put it back in, you just force it back in. And it's in. <coughs> That's her sword. And next, we have her nice... Earth Slicer or Land Slicer, I can't remember which one is the Shinkanger one, but here it is. As you can see, again, nicely detailed. You have the nice um, Shiba Clan Crest right there. Let's see if, you, if it will zoom in for us there. Come on. Oh, perfect. Okay, I guess it did for a second there. You guys overall get it. In the back here, we have the disc for the yellow. And you can also take out the disc. What you do is you just take out the hand, the little handle right here. And the disc just pops out. Or maybe not as easy as pink. Oh, it came out perfect. So as pink, it looks really nice. Again, it's nicely detailed, the little uh, bars of me. Just wanted to zoom in, come on. Okay, it doesn't look like it wants to zoom in. Come on, come on, I know you can zoom in. So, well, you guys get the basic picture of what it's supposed to look like. I just don't want to keep you guys uh, waiting for a while just because it won't zoom in. But you guys get the basic idea. This actually, sorry, this is actually my first time unboxing uh, the Shinken Yellow. I haven't actually removed it from the packaging as before. But, uh, yeah. So, um, it has the, her origami, which looks like this. And it comes with her origami and her animal formation, which is the ape, right here. And let me actually see if I'm holding it properly. Oh, here we go. Perfect. That comes with little, like, arms here that can actually move. Like, so up and down. Actually nicely, very nicely detailed. And then we have, she also comes with a shadow phone that's in uh, paintbrush mode. She also comes with these little hands. These little hands I actually had to take out from the box because they wouldn't just stay in the box. This hand right here, I couldn't really tell what it could be. It looks like someone at a rock concert just going, Rock on, dude. I don't know. That's what it looks like. But um, this one right here. Whoops. This one right here. Looks like it could be used um, either to be holding the paintbrush, I guess. And then this one here. Or maybe this one is the paintbrush one. I couldn't tell. I'll just show you the various ones. You guys, you can make out what you want with it. This one looks like to hold the origami because there's a lot of space in the hand. This one could be either of the weapons because it has like enough room. <coughs> this one, I don't know. It could be anything for this one. And this one could be like uh, one of the reviewers mentioned. Looks like a slapping hand. Whoops, sorry about that. And then, whoops. 
Just the other hand here. And this the uh, last hand. And also she too comes with the um, skirt pieces. This is what it looks like. If you want to see how the skirt is being changed, please check out my Shinkin Pink review. <coughs> now, what I'll show you in this, because like I want to show you how... Sorry, but let me just remove that figure. Forgot there are these little pieces you have to take off, because it's new. Okay, so to move the... Uh, to actually change the hand, what you do is you would take this right here, and you would yank it out and you would take the appropriate hand like let's say I'll take this hand right here you would align it with the just like so you're still gonna do it up close because it's kind of hard to do it far okay so it's still taking a bit of time as I thought let me just try to there oops yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to show you the hand change. Oh, there we go, finally. Because as you can see, it takes a bit of time. Because the original figures, they come, the originally they come packaged, both hands, have like a punching formation that look, look like this. So you can't really put anything on her. So let's actually have her hold the land slicer. Or the Earth Slice. I don't know which is the Shinkane Chou, and I forget. But here she is holding her weapon. <coughs> and also, before I forget, here I want to show you guys the um, what I missed in the previous review. Again, see this one says Kotowa Hanar. Hana Ori. See, all this time I thought it was Hanari, but it's Hana Ori. So I guess we learn something new every day. It's really awesome. Also, she too comes with um, she too comes with her little um, Shinkane shirt and the little Shinkane uh, sorry shadow phone in her pouch, and also the holster for her sword. As for the articulation, it's the same as pink. Where you have these little her boots he, boot here, you can move it up on top, or you can move it from the back, or you can like rotate her foot. It has also a knee joint, like so, or you can like um, move the legs up and down, or front and back. Again, it's hindered by the skirt. You'll have to change it into this skirt right here, if you guys want. Um, if you guys want want more articulation and then for the hands the same articulation it has a ball joint like so sorry about that let me just take this off because you guys can't see so it has the same ball joint and then at the elbow you can go up and down and then the fist can go all around move up and down from side to side also the head you can kind of move it up and down side to side or around like so so that's basically it for the Shinken Yellow review right there. Figure Arts review. Let me just put her back down there. So overall, for this figure, I would give her a perfect 10 out of 10. 10. And um, yeah, sorry you had to see my mess there with my closet. But, <coughs> but yeah, so... Perfect 10 out of 10 because articulation is top notch. The f the figure itself looks really nice. Like it looks like the actual stunt from the TV show. And let me actually show you a comparison from a Bandai America 5 inch figure. As you can see, they stand about the same size. Let me. Oops. Ah, shoot. Should be careful there. So, Come on. Okay. Yeah. As as you can see, like as much as I love Power Rangers in space, as you can see it looks a lot more lifelike the figure arts. Of course it has to because of the money that you're spending on them. So I like it. And I like the yellow shade that they use because like pink. 
That's the shade that you see in the TV show. I hate the dark pink that's used on Bandai fi American figures. And the, ye the light yellow that's used because this doesn't go that light. But, but yeah, so that's the Shin King Just Figure Arts review. Again, like said in the previous review, let me put her head down. She looks retarded that way. There we go. Let me put her closer. But like said in the previous uh, review, only get this if you're a collector because these little, these tiny little four inch figures that we have, as small as they are, they're, <coughs> they're a good little substitute. Like, don't think you have to go all out of the way to get these Shinkansha figures. Well, these tiny figures come with the sword, come with the main weapons. So, um, you're good to go. But if you're a serious collector who have the money, who has the money to spend, and are considered the figure arts, I would say go for it. Because it's very, like, accurate for the money that you're spending. So, as for prices, again, like, I can't put a price because it really fluctuates. You can get from $90 or more. Or you can maybe get it slightly cheaper. It really depends on the seller and if you keep searching. So this is my review right there. And again, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Oh, and here's the back of the figure and just in case. Shinken, Shinken Pink looks the same as well. So I think that covers it all. So hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah. Next, my review is going to be on Boy Meets World the last two seasons because I finished season six. Um, my second disc of season seven, so everything's opened up. So that's basically it, and have a great day. And hope you guys were able to stay free from the Canadian cold if you're in Canada. So have a great day.